Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Hunt, the math lady here with my friend Cole. And we are playing a game called Jumping Numbers. Jumping Numbers is a great game for first and second graders to play. We're playing three feet apart, but sharing the board. But we aren't sharing materials, we're just sharing the board here together. So Jumping Numbers is all about going plus tens, minus tens, plus ones and minus ones. I am playing crabs today, Cole is playing monkeys. I have circled my target number. I can circle any number with inside the gray shaded area. I circled 22, Cole circled 88, that was the one he chose, and then we put our little guys on the top and bottom and right and left of that number. That's the number we're trying to defend. We don't want our opponent to get their guy on top of our number. At the same time, I'm trying to get my guy over to his number. So for example, I might say plus, let's say plus 50 might be my first move. And I might, might, might move this guy 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, look, see, I'm right in line. Except I can't jump over his guys. So let's find out what Cole does. Cole, what's your first move gonna be? I'll choose... Friends, do you think he's going to choose plus or minus? He's trying to get smaller numbers. Plus 40. So plus 40 is going to move him into higher numbers. Are you sure you want to move plus 40 into higher numbers? Or do you want to go minus 40? Minus 50? Go for it. So he's going to try minus 50. Which monkey face are you going to take? Minus 50. That guy? Okay. He is... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Nope. 50. Ooh, look, he's right in line here, too. Watch what my next move is. Remember how that's where I kind of want to go. But there's a monkey in the way. So I'm actually going to go minus 10. Your turn, Cole. His monkey's trying to move to smaller numbers. Friends, is he going to add or subtract numbers? What do you think? And if he added numbers, could that get him over here? Watch what happened if he added five. One, two, three, four, five. If he adds five, it puts him right at my doorstep. Go ahead and move your monkey, Cole. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's very close to me. Oh man. Okay, let's see how far I can get with a plus five. One, two, three, four, five. So I could move there and be really close, right friends? But I also, could do a plus 20. Anybody know why I'm doing a plus 20 right now? 10, 20, I'm blocking Cole. Now he has to figure out a new way to get to my 22. And I know exactly what to oh, do. Oh, what's your plan? Add 10, 10, and I have to go around. I see what you're trying to do, but did you really add 10 when you went from 33 to 34? Oh, let's add one. Okay. So he's gonna add one, that's what he really wants to do. That's okay, yeah. it's always good to revise our thinking. That's never a problem. Now I might continue, now that this is blocked for a while. For me to improve. It's never too late for me to improve. Thanks Cole, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that's a really smart move for me. I can never do this two times in a row. So I can't move plus 20 and then plus 20 again. I always have to move it somewhere else. Um, sometimes you'll really wish you could keep it one, two, three, four, five. But always remember you might wanna be switching back and forth between different pieces that you're moving. Right now, this is a pretty good stronghold. But at some point, I may not want to move this crab over to here with a minus 10 plus one, um, two moves in a row to keep Cole from getting there. At some point, he's gonna to have to move his guys too. Like he might choose to defend this 88 right now because I'm getting really close. So Cole, is your next move minus 20? 
or is your next move minus 20 here or something else? I choose minus 20. What are you going to do? 10, 20. Oh, I'm foiled and I can never jump over his pieces and I can never move diagonally. So I'm gonna have to do what he's doing and go around. I may also add another crab into the event and take this guy down for a ride and try to get around with two guys. So that might be a useful strategy too. Friends, I hope you enjoy playing jumping numbers. See you later.